Hey, what's happening, buddy? My name is Hayden Adams, and today we're talking about line heights and what's the best way to set a line height. In traditional web design, we'd focus just on the computer desktop, but now we get to a tablet or mobile, what can happen is as your site changes in size, when the font changes, does the line height change? If you've set it the wrong way, the answer is no. So I wanna show you the correct way of setting line height right now. All right, welcome back. Once again, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, a channel all about helping you become a better web designer and developer through code. Now in this example, I have a problem. <laughs> As you can see, the font got bigger as I went to a mobile framework, but the line height didn't change. And that's if we go back and take a look at our CSS. What I have is my traditional P tag, my HTML. And we're just working with basic P tags. And if you are familiar, I did install the Bootstrap framework just so I could work with different breakpoints in this design. So in here, I have paragraph tags and a simple container. And in my CSS, I wrote font size 16 and line height 30. Often is the case, what I also want to achieve is either a font size bigger or a font size smaller when it comes to a media query. Media query just helps you break it for mobile or tablet or back to desktop. In this case, I made my font size, let me hit the escape key, my font size is 16 and when I went to mobile, it went to 25. Now normally I might go to like 20 just to add a bit bigger font, depending upon if my font's a little too small when it comes to mobile, that can happen. Or maybe it's too big and you wanna make it smaller. So maybe I said, you know what, let's go to 12 in this size right here. Notice the problem though, that when I change my font size, the line height doesn't come with it. And that's because the line height is set to pixels. Pixels are great, but they're fixed. And because I'm changing, stop little tooltip, because I am changing my font size, I want the line height to be fluid. And when it comes to fluid, there's the EMs. So what I wanna do is I wanna set one EM to start. This is essentially saying 100%, like saying 100%, if I can type my percent keys. The reason why we don't use percents is percents are fixed. So the EM corresponds to 16. So when I say one EM, what does it look like? Well, it's pretty close together. It's really too tight. So let's say 1.4. EM, so let's find the right line height. Looking better, maybe wanna go 1.6. We're essentially saying, essentially 160%, looking pretty good. So now this line is looking great, and it is set to EMs, not to pixels. Here's the magic of this. Let me set this really big. Now when I change my pixel size from 16 to 30, the line height will still stay at a relative size. So when I go back to a mobile size, notice, did I save it? Font size 30, there we go. Helps if I refresh the page too, that could really help. Now let me go back, there we go. Notice how that this font size corresponds to the line height and this font size corresponds to the line height as well the line height carries over to whatever size you have below. So you'll have to set the line height once and it corresponds to the one below. So when you're coding future websites, remember EMs, not pixels, are the best way to set a line height in web design, making it fluid, not fixed. For more things, all things A Designer Who Codes, check out my channel and subscribe and watch these other videos to become a better web developer and designer through code.